I am Alfred Young. I am the chairman of the Department of Neuro-Oncology at MD Anderson Cancer Center and the co-director of the Brain Tumor Center. I'm also an FCR supported scientist. I am a researcher, I am a doctor, and I am a patient. My focus is on trying to find a cure for malignant brain tumor, especially glioblastoma. Unfortunately, this is the most common tumor that we see in adult over 50 years old. And it's also have a very short survival. We have done better in improving the survival in the last 15, 20 years, but it's still not acceptable alone. And I'm particularly interested in how to combine chemotherapy and other form of therapy in a, in a combined fashion to attack the problem. My research focusing on signal transduction pathway, especially trying to understand the genetic determinants of what make the tumor sensitive to treatment versus resistant to treatment. It is difficult to conduct clinical trial. One of the main reasons is number. You know, we, because there's the, the number of cases per year in the United States is about you no know, nine to ten thousand cases a year. So in this, when you spread it into multiple centers, not each center really have enough cases to do you no know, big uh, trial, especially if you want to test many things at the same time. So we need a collaborative effort to, to conduct these important trials. I think despite that we only have two or three age, approved agents for GBM, but I think there is many reasons to be encouraged and to be excited for the future bec because now we have raised awareness to the drug developer and pharmaceutical company of the need of developing agents for glioblastoma. In our brain tumor center, we combine forces of neurosurgeons, neuro-oncologists, neuroradiologists, radiation oncologists, laboratory scientists, pathologists, and all into one you know, integrated team. And I find it very, very important uh, to be able to link laboratory investigation to clinical investigation, to, to go back and forth between the clinic and the laboratory so that we can take the question and problem that develop in the clinic with the patient back to the no, laboratory and try to find a, a you know, answer to that question and then bring the answer to the clinic and test it and see whether well, that is the right answer or not. The work that we are doing, whether it's in the laboratory, in the, in the clinic, require a lot of support. And you know, without support from foundation like NFCL, that can give us you know, a source of funding that we can expand and take risks on new research idea, we're not gonna be able to get, we would not get to where we are now. So every piece, every piece of support, every bit of support that NFCR can get from the donor, it's gonna be translated into discovery and finding in our laboratory. And, and that is what's gonna fuel uh, the development and also the answer that we can you know, provide to our patient and also new treatment that we can give our patient to prolong their life. And that's the importance of continual funding or support into, the, into foundation like NFCR but it, every dollar is going to translate into future 
you know, improvement in the you know, survival of patient. You know, we can promise you that. <laughs>